And I'm kind of going a roundabout way here. I'm going to go out the back way. I'm not sure if I can get out through here, so I'm just going to go back the way I know. Well, hello, YouTube enthusiasts. This is Cruise Man, and I am just getting ready to leave Al Lamb's Honda here in Dallas. You can see I've got my uh, Bush Tech trailer on. I brought my new set of tires. I've been telling you for a month I was going to get a new set of tires put on before I go to Midland. So today, today's the day. I got the new tires on and I'm ready to head back home. Many of you know that I used to go to Maxim Honda but my friend Don suggested that I give Al Lambs a try. And I have to be careful for the first few miles because as you know, anytime you get new tires, they're kind of slick. So before I start taking any 85 mile an hour turns in my neighborhood, I want to make sure these tires get scrubbed in. I'm kind of going a roundabout way here. I'm going to go out the back way. I'm not sure if I can get out through here, so I'm just going to go back the way I know. But anyway, many of you know I used to uh, frequent Maxim Honda, but two reasons I didn't go back to Maxim this time. The first reason is my trusty Goldwing mechanic, John Leeper, is no longer at Maxim. And he is really the only one there I trusted to work on my bike. And I don't know who took his place, if anyone. The second reason is I called to get a quote on what it would cost to have these new tires put on. And I'm bringing my own tires. I bought the tires online. Bridgestones and I used to pay about a hundred and thirty dollars to have the tires swapped out and it's been about a year maybe even a little more than a year since I've had these new or since I had new tires put on they quoted me two hundred and twenty dollars to get the tires put on because they were my tires. I didn't buy the tires from the dealer. That's over. That's almost $100 more than I paid last time. So we're obviously in the period of hyperinflation, which is pretty obvious from a lot of other things where the prices have gone up. So I called the Honda dealer, Al Lamb's Honda, which is a powerhouse dealer, and they quoted me a better price. So I saved a little money by coming over here, and it gave me a chance to try out uh, Al Lamb's Honda. Don's always been satisfied with the service that he's had here, and about the only thing I ever really get done at a dealer is the tires. So if I make it home and the tires don't fly off, I guess uh, we'll have a good uh, successful trip today. Now if you're new to the channel, I want to welcome you to Cruise Man's Garage YouTube channel. This is a channel where uh, we talk about motorcycles. There's a lot of Goldwing content, but it's not all related to the Goldwing. So if you like tips and tricks, accessory reviews, motorcycle reviews, moto vlogs like this one, then I would very much appreciate it if you would take the time to click that subscribe button down below. And if you click on that little bell icon, YouTube will let you choose whether or not you want to receive notifications of my new videos. And of course you want to receive that. Who wouldn't?
Now I'm going back on Highway 635 here in Dallas, which I have not ridden on in many years because usually the traffic is terrible on this road. But I'm going to try it today. I can tell you one thing. It's 81 degrees outside. Partly cloudy. We're supposed to get a lot of rain tomorrow. And I can tell you that it's a little warm. This is the warmest ride I've had in a while. It's kind of been in the 60s. But obviously today we're up there a little bit. Now I'm watching my speed because I haven't pulled this trailer in quite a while. So until I get my confidence level up, pulling this 2007 Bush Tech trailer, uh, I'm going to keep my speed rather limited. And that brings me to my question of the day on my motor vlog, and that is, do you pull a trailer behind your motorcycle? If you do, put it in the comments down below and let me know what kind of trailer you pull. Yeah, uh, even on Saturday, the traffic on 635, you can see on the other side how thick the traffic is. It's not as bad going this direction, but it's really bad going the other way. For some reason, Saturdays are, they seem to be a higher traffic day than weekdays. I don't know if it's because everybody's out shopping or going to the lake or whatever they're doing on Saturday. You know what? I think I'm going to take the 635 Express. I've never done this before. So let's try it and see what happens. And hopefully this will let me exit before I get to uh, I-35. I don't know if it will or not. I've never done an express before. So we shall see how it works. I'm not even sure if they charge motorcycles for using the express. But we'll give it a try and see. The only bad thing about using the express for me today is that they expect you to go pretty fast. So I'm not sure if they want me to go 60 miles an hour on this express lane. So this is pretty weird. I've never been on this before. It's mostly uh, almost underground. Now, I think normally this costs a pretty penny to use this express lane or these express lanes, I should say. But it seems like I read somewhere that they don't charge motorcycles or if they do, they charge a lower rate. So I guess I'll find out when I get my monthly statement how much they charge me on my toll tag. My biggest concern is that they won't let me exit on 35. If they don't, then I'll have to go all the way down to 121 to exit, and that's going to take me a few more minutes to get home. It's also a little bit windy today. And uh, getting quite a bit of wind coming through this little tunnel here. Kind of a headwind, crosswind. Yeah, this is very unusual. I've never ridden on one of these before. I didn't even know we had this in Dallas-Fort Worth. I didn't know we had these dual levels of highways. Now it does have a 35... Uh, I-35E exit coming up so I will be able to uh, take the I-35 exit to get home and that will make it a much quicker uh, ride than what I had coming out here today. So this is really interesting. I may have to use this more often. How many of you have these kind of express lanes in the town where you live? If you do, put it in the comments down below. Now, I think it was my last motor vlog where I talked to you about, or maybe the time before last, I'm not sure, about the importance of liking these videos. And that is, if you click on the little thumbs up button, it really does help with the YouTube algorithm. 
and it helps them determine when they show my video to people that are not subscribers. <clears throat> so it really helps the channel when you click that like button. And I really do appreciate it. If you like this video and you want to uh, support the channel, please click, click that like button. And you can also share this video with your friends. Just click on the little share icon or text and it will give you a link that you can post on your Facebook page or Twitter or whatever. Now I'm going to take this 35 exit and hopefully it will dump me out where I want to go. But I don't think I want the 35 Express. I think I just want the 35 North Toll exit. Let's see if I can find it here. I don't know. This is it right here. Okay, so this is a little different. Not exactly sure where it dumps me out, but we'll find out once we get up here. I'm afraid I'm going to have to cross over. Oh, maybe we're on 35. I don't know. It says uh, left lane is south. So let's see if I could get over without causing too much trouble. to go south, I want to go north. So I think after this car gets by me, we'll be in good shape. Like I say, it's been a while since I've ridden with the trailer, so I have to allow that extra room to get the trailer when I change lanes. I think I'm going to go over one more. Yep, see there, I had a feeling it was going to do that. I think if I went straight, that would take me to the airport, to DFW Airport. This will take me north up to Carrollton. Should be in good shape now. Well, that was pretty easy. Once you've done it once, you know how to what lane you need to be in. It makes it much easier the next time. Now, I should mention to you, while pulling a trailer, I always use... Actually, I'm in Econ mode, but I typically like to use Tour mode because Econ mode just doesn't have enough low-end torque uh, when pulling a trailer. I'm going to shift over to Tour mode real quick because it does make uh, riding with the trailer much easier. I must have uh, just kind of inherently put it in Econ mode when I got on the bike because I'm I usually ride around town in Econ mode. Now, Econ mode does make a difference in your gas mileage when you're riding around town or commuting. I would say 45 miles an hour or less. If you're going to be on the highway for extended periods of time, there's no real advantage to Econ mode because once you're at, in seventh gear, your RPM is going to be the same at 60 miles an hour regardless of what mode you're in. So Econ mode doesn't really benefit you once you're on the highway. It only benefits you when you're doing in-town driving. Or at least that's my perception of Econ mode. When I was at Al Lambs, I went, while I was waiting on my bike, I went into the showroom and I looked at one of the new 2021 Gold Wings and all they had on the tour model, all they had was the black. And I noticed on the trunk, it almost looks like the, f the flat black or the matte black. It almost looks like it's a, uh, a vinyl stick-on. Can anybody out there verify, am I correct? Is that actually a vinyl stick-on piece? Is the trunk completely painted metallic black and they just stuck on a piece of vinyl? Or is it actually painted that flat black because it looks like a sticker now the front fender did not look like vinyl it looked different but on the trunk it looked like they had used a vinyl stick on it and I was just curious if you could remove that I am not a fan of the matte black finish I much much prefer that metallic black I think the metallic black is really pretty I'm just not a fan of the matte black. And the reason I'm not a fan of it 
is if it gets scratched or you know I just don't know what you do with it I don't know how you repair or correct a matte finish I know how to work on clear coat I don't know how to work on a matte finish then it's noisy So let me know in the comments down below if you have this black Goldwing 2021, if that trunk actually has a vinyl sticker or if it's painted. I, I just couldn't tell. It felt like there was a little edge. So I want to thank you for joining me today on this ride home from getting my tires changed. A little bit different route for me than just going home from my breakfast run. So... Again, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And that's all for now. I'll see you on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlog.